Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena Games video. Today we're taking a look at another standard deck and I was able to participate in the early access event for Zendikar Rising courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. So I got access to this special account with all the cards from Zendikar already unlocked. So this video is considered sponsored by Wizards. And in the 22 hours that I was able to play in the early access event, one of the archetypes that impressed me the most was the green landfall ramp archetype. And we built a bunch of different decks that used the same core cards and one of those is a Lotus Cobra, 2 mana for a 2-1 snake with landfall saying whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control we get to add a 1 mana of any color to our mana pool. So Lotus Cobra can definitely help us ramp into some powerful cards ahead of schedule, especially combined with fetch lands like Fabled Passage, one of the key cards that got a lot better after rotation with all the new landfall cards. Another key card in the archetype is Felidar Retreat, a 4 mana rare enchantment, with landfall either making a 2 2 cat token or putting a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature we control and also giving them vigilance until end of turn. Another important piece of the puzzle is the Ancient Green Warden, 6 mana for a 5 7 creature with reach, and it essentially doubles up all our landfall triggers, so that's a very powerful in combination with cards like Lotus Cobra and the Felidar Retreat. And then of course great with Fabled Passage, since the Ancient Green Warden lets us replay lands from the graveyard, so we can potentially keep replaying the same Fabled Passage over and over again, and at the same time getting a ton of landfall triggers. So I built a few different decks using these key cards, and one of them was just a green-white version without any additional colors. We also built a four-color version with Omnath, which also impressed me. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to show you the green-white version, which also gets to play with Skewed Mob, a 3-mana 1-1 one, one insect, with a landfall essentially making a copy of itself if we have 6 or more lands in play, otherwise it just makes a 1-1 one, one insect token. But the Skewed Mob can get out of hand very quickly, especially with Ancient Green Warden in play, which doubles all the landfall triggers. And another important addition in Zendikar Rising are all these spells that we can also play as lands, so we get the flexibility of potentially enabling landfall, but we can also play the spell half later if we're flooding out a bit so we get more action. So we definitely see a lot of these in the different landfall decks as well that we built. So this green-white token ramp deck is pretty straightforward. We've got some ramp, plenty of landfall synergy, and then a few creatures that also let us play additional lands each turn, like the Dried of Legion Grove and Azusa, so we can potentially play the same Fabled Passage with our Ancient Green Warden multiple times per turn, giving us even more landfall triggers. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. So this is probably a Just Guy party deck. I guess it could just be a warrior deck. Next turn we get to play Green Warden plus Passage, so we drew kind of all the pieces we needed. Extra lands, creature, retreat, passage, Green Warden. The four card combo.
Ooh, that's going to be a nice one too. Don't know if there's a card that can kill me here. I doubt it. I kind of want to go off with a swarm here, but our opponent's probably not going to stick around for that. Uh, let's quickly try to break the game. Uh oh, the game is starting to lag. <laughs> eh. Gotta love it. We played this cute swarm this turn, by the way. We made it this far, might as well go all the way. Well, I guess this is a good time for me to eat a sandwich. Oh yeah, we definitely got to build this in historic with anointed procession. Although I might have to take an afternoon off just to resolve all the triggers. Did the game just crash? <laughs> uh, I think so. Oh, it resolved, but I didn't hear the sound effect. We're resolving the second trigger now. Uh oh, are we gonna do it before the rope times us out?
You can do it retreat. How many tokens? 728 apparently. The sound is just completely gone. All I did was play Swarm, play Fabled Passage out of the graveyard with Green Warden three times thanks to the Dryad. And there we go. <laughs> Completely irrelevant to the outcome of this game, but let's be honest, it was very necessary to try it out. My sound is still kinda strange here. Maybe I should restart. That's okay. <laughs> Somewhere those triggers are still resolving to this day. The sound is very unsettling right now. How's my PC doing after 728 tokens? It's still recovering, I'm afraid. What is the correct numbers of cats to make before adding counters? Um, it's not an exact science. Just make sure that if you get multiple triggers at the same time, you want to make sure that the cat token resolves before you put any counters on it. I guess I can play Green Warden. Putin probably plays Shadow the Sky. So maybe I should just kinda chill here, play another Fabled Passage. And then end of turn, make some more tokens, then I can play Green Warden and Fabled Passage from the graveyard. And maybe kill them. Takedown is an instance, so that's nice. Triple Exploration. Dora over there. Double Bone Crusher. Hmm. This is a little awkward. So if I put a counter in response, they can Bone Crusher again, I can put another counter, but I kinda wanted to go wide. Yeah, I guess I'll let that happen. If they stomp again, I'll maybe respond. Yeah, 
All right, fine. So counter and then token, token resolves first, and then we get a counter on everything. I guess it doesn't count for each exploration, it's like separately. Okay, that's fine then. Can I kill them? They have two blockers, I think so. All right, sweet. Yeah, double retreat plus ancient doubling all the triggers plus fable passage getting two lands. Pretty strong combo. This ends okay. If we resolve the retreats, we're in decent shape. Although they can also have Brazen Borrower, I guess, to bounce it at some point. Swarm, you say. Not sure what to do here. I think I just jam retreats and they only have single blue. Drown in the log doesn't work. Drawing a land would be good, because then we can double spell, and that's especially a nice one to draw. Although they could easily have a drown in hand.
So those are all swarms. Just gotta draw some lanes. The fact that they're milling me is actually kinda sad, because I might run out of basics to fetch. Can just go Cobra Retreats and hold Surge for next turn. Can Surge now, make a couple extra Swarms. Cobra doesn't do much. Although I'm taking a lot of damage here. But maybe Retreat can set up something next turn. Only have two lands left, or three. I don't think they were actually dead there. We have... How many creatures that can attack? Six? I guess seven, the Cobra can also attack, but they can block one. So blocks... Cobra... Four tokens and the cats get to attack. These will all become 4-4s, four so 16, I guess, never mind, they were dead. Cool. Hmm, don't love this. Alright, this is better. What do I ditch? Can't even play Cobra on turn two. Probably gonna keep three lands. Maybe Dryad's not great here. And then hope to just draw basic forests. Could have also played Florahedron, so any lands let me play Cobra. It didn't matter.
so I could play retreats or I could play ancient green warden here And then next turn with Cobra we get to make a ton of extra mana. If we're still alive. Yeah, the Ancient Green Warden's a pretty messed up card. And it's pretty strong in combination with Lotus Cobra as well. So, I mean, we played a four color landfall deck, which was pretty strong, was definitely impressed by it. But the core, like, essence of the deck that makes it powerful, I think is just the combination of Cobra, extra lands per turn, ramp, retreat, Green Warden, and then Fabled Passage. Like, Omnath was okay, but... Is it really that much different from just a two-color version? You maybe get a bit of additional card draw, but that's about it. So yeah, the green-white version seemed a little bit cleaner than the four-color one, but not sure which is better. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.